Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is in remembrance of 9-11. So this video is where I'm going to be interviewing my two parents. Because I wasn't born at the time in 9-11. I was born in 2009. They were born... Way earlier. Yeah, way a lot earlier. So we're going to get an interview on both of them and see like what their day was like when 9-11 happened. So, Mom, you can start first. I was in my student teaching, and so I was teaching choir. And it was like second hour, and the teacher was in his office, and uh, he said, oh, you gotta come in here real quick. So I went into the office and we watched the planes hit the tower. And so then right after that, the principal sent out a note to all of us teachers and to let us know that we weren't gonna be able to talk to any of the kids about it. It was gonna be up to the parents to talk to their kids about it. Um, but you just pretty much felt numb for the next few days, not knowing, not being able to really grasp everything that happened. Wow, that's, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I shouldn't be smiling because that's not funny, but um, dad, we can see your perspective now of it. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I, was, I was working as a waiter at the time and I was at the gym at the time that the f first plane hit. And I remember getting ready because I, I went to the gym and then I had to get ready for work. Um, ended up grabbing my bag, got ready, got all ready, and I started to walk out. And I noticed that a bunch of guys were around. There was a TV in the locker room. It was a pretty decent gym. And there was a TV in the locker room. And the guys were all around the, just in a circle all around the TV. I'm like, man, what's what, what in the world? What's going on? And they said a plane just hit the World Trade Center. So I just I just sat there, kind of shocked, watching the flames and the smoke of the of the first, you know, the first plane that hit. And you know, like like you, I was numb and and thought, because at, at first you think, man, that's so odd. Like you you don't know what's you don't know what to think. You don't know, did a plane just hit the building? What's going on? Is it is it you know? Nobody knows what it was, so you're, you're thinking, this is this is wild. And then when I was driving to work, so I left, and I think the second plane hit, what, 20 minutes later or 15, 10 minutes later? It was, it was quick. 18. 18 minutes later, and I was driving to the restaurant that I worked at, and that's when I had heard the second plane hit. And then everybody kind of knew and felt that this was not just a single incident. It was terrorism, and our country's being attacked. So I remember going to work, going into the restaurant, and this was the eeriest feeling because you walk into a place where people are eating and drinking and supposed to be having a good time, and there were people sitting at the bar. It was a really nice restaurant. People sitting at the bar, having drinks and laughing and all that stuff, and it was the it was the oddest feeling because I'm on the TVs was the whole thing of of nine you know of the trade centers, and. Some people were carrying on like nothing ever happened. And the rest of the place was just dead silent, numb. And uh, I remember my thought in my heart, I remember not wanting to be there. I remember thinking, what am I doing here? I wanna be home with my family, with, you know, I, I, wanna, I, I gotta get out of here. Um, so I ended up having to work the whole day at the restaurant and just heartbroken and then each each person that came in, you just kept you talked about it and um, watching the stories over and over. So, just a you felt like it was a devastating day. I'll ne never forget it. Everybody who was alive in that moment under and understood what was going on, you will never forget what you were doing that day when America was attacked. And you know, I'm a uh, I'm a firefighter, right? So knowing that 343 firefighters died and hundreds of police officers and um, not to mention the thousands of people that were in the towers. Um, it, was, it was one of the hardest days of our country that I've ever experienced, so yeah. Well, that, that was a lot, but I wanted to do this because today we were just learning about this and I read this paper. It said, 
19 terrorists attacked four planes. Mm -hmm. Two of the planes hit the World Trade Centers, and then one plane hit the Pentagon, yep. and uh, there was another plane which um, the civilians, um, I don't know where they were heading, but uh, the civilians like took over the terrorists and they landed in a uh, field in right. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah. But those people on that pl on plane four were very remembered because they saved the next place that was about yeah. to get hit. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's just a lot from 9-11. And the reason why I did this video was because it's the 20th anniversary on the 11th. So I just wanted to do this of my parents' opinion and what I've heard of it. So just thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below what you think of this. And just tell me or comment if you have any siblings, relatives that are grieving the pain everyone else is, or just sadness, or just thankfulness that you were, you just had that um, some of them were risking their lives just to save the people in the World Trade Centers, but. Like I said, for the remembrance of all the fallen soldiers, of the firefighters, and the police and civilians that lost their lives. About 3,000 civilians lost their lives, and 300 firefighters, and hundreds of peace officers, too. So, I just thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you can tune into the next video when it comes.